For a century, there have been gumball machines to give us something to chew on. Vending machines that dispense gumballs were introduced in 1907 on a New York City subway platform. Today's gumball machines are more modern versions of the originals. But to young and old, they still represent treat time. The gumball machine is all about instant gratification. Insert a coin, turn a handle, and out comes the merchandise. To make a gumball machine, a designer first sketches out the exact proportions. Then, a worker ladles molten zinc into a holding furnace, where a steel plunger pushes the metal through a die that forms a gumball machine base. A mechanical claw removes the newly shaped base from the die and places it on a conveyor belt to cool. A similar die shapes the coin mechanism handle and drive gears. A worker places a braided hose with a natural gas flame under a mold that will shape the gumball dispensing chute. He pours piping hot liquid aluminum into the mold. The flame below warms the mold enough to prevent condensation, which would ruin the shape. But the mold is still cooler than the aluminum, and that allows it to solidify into a chute shape in seconds. Now using a punch press, a worker trims the waste away from the lid for the gumball machine. They also trim the front plate of the coin mechanism using a similar press. A computerized cutter mills out a hole in the top of the globe that will hold the gumballs. The globe is made of shatterproof plastic. At another station, they press the base of the gumball machine against a cloth-covered buffing wheel to give it a shine. A worker now assembles the coin mechanism, layering the front plate, the coin carrier, the back plate, and ending with a cam, the part that ensures the coin mechanism moves clockwise. She screws it tightly together, then inserts the handle on the front plate. The handle will turn the coins that pay for the gumballs. She places a little spacer and drive gear on the handle stem that protrudes through the back of the assembly, and then screws the drive gear onto the handle stem. Now it's time to put the money up front. They insert a coin in the slot and turn the handle to make sure the system works. People in many countries like gumballs, so these coin mechanisms can be made to accept currencies from around the world. They can also be used in other types of vending machines. Now they spray powder paint onto the lids giving them a 3 mm thick coating. They bake the paint onto the lids at 204 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Now it's time to pull all the pieces together. They place the dispensing wheels in hoppers, then cover them with a part that stops free gumballs from spilling out. The next part is the adapter ring, and the plastic globes fit on top of them. They place aluminum rings on top of the globes. Then they slide two side rods through the top rings down into the bottom of the globes. They screw them down very tightly and then set the assembly aside. Now they place plastic bodies on bases and install the chute doors on the front. They place the chute covers in the plastic body and mount the coin mechanisms just above the chute. Next, they slide the globe assemblies over center rods and onto the plastic foundations. They put a lid on every globe and then lock them on. And now, we're at the vending part of the story. Gumball, anyone? <laughs>